You jumped way too high, boy. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Hey there, guys. We need you here, and welcome back to Let's Play Half-Life 2. When last we met, we came across, uh... Well, a blockade is a good name for it. Shit! Shit! Um, yeah, we crossed over the bridge part. And fucking... The Combine have been trying to stop us every goddamn step of the way. Unsuccessfully. Finally, holy shit. That's what I get for trying to play it safe. Get some guy taking up like half my health. Not even. Just kidding. Um. Good lord! Now I got some guy taking up half my health. Alright, any more assholes in here? Anyone live through that? Holy cannoli, dude. What the hell? All I wanted was a health pack and some energy, and they're just like, whoop! Anyways, it's been so long since I played this. Holy cow. I can't even remember the last time I recorded this. But, I still remember what uh, went down. Oh! <laughs> This game is gonna be the. F it's gonna be the death of me, really. If you really wanna think about it. This shit is so bananas, I can't, I can't even. Come out, combine. Come out to play. That was the shittiest grenade I've ever thrown in my life. Don't even start with me. Where'd all them go? Out the window! Yeah. Never catch me on the gingerbread man. Now this needs a grenade too. God damn it. This lanky bullshitter. Man. I don't remember the shit being so intense. What the heck happened to the difficulty chart? Got all skewed across and blown up and... I don't even know what. Either way. Let's get out of here. As much fun as it is to stay here. And I do remember the promise I made where I said I would stop at every, uh... Every location that I... Uh, saw on the side of the road. Oh! Is there an alternate? Oh, yeah. I also remember that. This guy has. In this mod, the cinematic mod, some gameplay elements have changed. Like, I'm sure that wasn't uh, like that before. But who knows? I shouldn't have to explain this whole mod again. It must be the most annoying thing for people who are watching this, like, in a series. Next thing you know, I come back from not recording for a long time and gotta hear like a tutorial again. <laughs> Alright. So here we have a fun little gate that is uh, currently shut. Um, pictures of dicks and stuff, you know. Um, and what we need to do is we need to find two more batteries to power up the gate. 
course, these batteries aren't the easiest things to find. Wow, nice picture. Um, Honeywood, honey wine. That, oh, honeymoon, honey wine. Uh -huh. So these things are uh, pretty few and far between, but I know where some of them are. Uh, up here is one of them. If you can manage to get this to do something. <sighs> Come on. There it is. Come on. Shit. And yes, there will be people who are trying to kill you during all this. Um, I think there's also one in one of these cars. If you... Not that one. Damn it. I don't remember where it is. The Batman music's playing and everything, and it's getting me all riled up. <sighs> okay, there has to be one. I could have sworn there was one in the house, too, but I guess not. Wasn't there one? Yeah. Okay. I was about to say, there there has to be one over in one of these cars. I remember that. They wouldn't change that. If only I could get this fucker down. Come on. That doesn't help. That does. Whoop. Thank you, Windmill, for knocking that down for me. Yep. Alright. Get the hell out of here. Let's go. Ugh. Squeeze through it. Alright. Oh, man. Oh, whoa. Oh, my back's hurting, man. I'm I'm not sitting right. Seat adjustment. Another long tunnel. Loading screen. Oh boy. Man, I tell you, it feels good though recording this again. I love getting back into uh, the whole Half-Life and StarCraft mood. You know, recording those games. It's just it's so much fun. I love it. But yeah, you know, I'm just I'm just falling behind on LPs lately. I explained this at the end of my Five Nights at Freddy's 2 video that went up tonight with this as well. Whoa! It's just sometimes, I don't know. I have to go up to three uh, LPs a day now because I have six LPs going on at the same time. It's just, it's nuts, man. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. I slacked off in October. I should have been more on top of things. Oh, this part looks hella different. And yes, I just said hella. That's a California thing, by the way. And so, my friends, we lose our buggy. We have no more need for it. Because apparently there's a bunch of bug trackers on it, which we don't even know about. Okay, Doc. You'll have to go on foot from here. There's a secret path along the cliffside. But no one's going anywhere until we fight off this attack. Having you here to fight alongside us is going to make a big difference for morale. So, we're in this place. There's a house there, a house there, a house there. And way up there is a lighthouse. And from any one of these points you can defend. And um, kind of try to you know, keep things under control. I love that light. Oh my god. I'm sorry, I just went so far out of LP mode, it's not even funny. Because I've never seen any of this before, this mod is incredible. But yeah, like, the, normally all these trees aren't here either, this place is pretty fucking barren! Ow. Ow! I'm going back in the fucking nice lit house. So, the guys outside, your uh, friends and cohorts out there, they can do some damage you know they can kill some combine but they can't do a whole lot they kind of tend to fail when you leave them by themselves a lot of them are gonna die and it just it leads to a whole bunch of bad news for them or as a guy at the beginning of the game would say it's bad news for the whole railroad and this gun's recoil is fucking awful so I hate using it 
But uh, I think you just have like three or four dropships that you gotta defend against. Heal me, dude. Please. Thank you. Please and shank you. Whoa. Ow! Yeah, they're gonna try to sneak all over the fucking place back here. Good thing the medic's following me. Can I get on top of the house from up here? Oh! I can't. That's pretty cool. Well, that didn't help me much. Man, my dog is getting bored, I could tell. He's running around trying to find something to do. Oh, uh, yeah. I think these gas canisters help out a little bit, too. Thanks. I think this one lands up there towards the windmill. This fucking Batman music, I swear. I'm surprised I don't get copyright slammed for it every damn episode I upload of this shit. But it doesn't. It does not uh, yell at me. For what reason, I have no idea. Oh, I didn't mean to shoot that. Holy shit. Well, there's that. That goes. Oh. oh. Man, they're doing... I don't know. They must have uh, increased the AI or something. But uh, they do just fine on their own now. Oh, there's Dick Butt again. Uh, this guy, I know, this next dropship lands like right here. So I'm gonna go inside the lighthouse. So I just got a bad feeling about it. And they will be able to shoot me, so don't worry, I'm not a total idiot. Oh. You lucky son of a bitch. Anyways, so now we have a gunship, not a dropship. So we actually do have to shoot him down. Good lord, these drawings, man, so lewd. Fuck. Um, so, you're gonna have to go up the, uh, the fun little lighthouse. Jesus. And there will be a crate up here, I think, somewhere with ammo in it for your rocket launcher. Or not. Well, that sucks. So he's gonna be a little bit of a pain in the ass to shoot down. I don't think this glass can be shot through. No. Definitely not. Oh, the rockets are up here? Well, damn, they made that harder. Still access it from yeah. Oh, cheating the system, dude. All right. This guy shouldn't be too difficult. Just. Oh. I was gonna say get him while he swings around, but he fucked my shit up. If I need healing, gotta go back down here. Ow! What kind of luck is that that he's gonna get me right as I'm going around that corner? Alright, I need to... I can't stop my son. That was good. Alright, 
Come on. Oh yeah, he's down. Whoo! Stock our rockets before we head down. I think that's all you have to deal with, really. Should be someone running up here to talk to me pretty soon. Yeah. This way, Dr. Freeman. We'll take the cliff path before another gunship finds us. Taking the cliff path. Why not? Might as well. So he's gonna lead you to your actual uh, your exit from this area, which is at the bottom of the lighthouse. More supplies. Yeah, watch your step is right, because you're going to get your dick wrecked if you try to jump around this area. Ugh, this is different. <laughs> oh, man. Damn you, mod creator. He added a bunch of walls and stuff here. Oh. He also added some tempting prizes. So if you did want to face the cliff. That's pretty cool. It's almost like a like scenic viewpoint. Kinda. That's cool. That's a good addition, but it makes it less dangerous with the walls and stuff there. So, we're gonna crawl through here. C -c -c crawl And, uh, we're gonna come out on the other side and it should be nighttime. If not, then we're gonna see the effects of the, uh, altered, um, time shift, I think. Or, no. Never mind. No, it's not gonna be nighttime. Never mind, I'm getting confused. It should be starting to look nighttime. Kinda. This part of the game. This part of the game. This part of the game, ladies and gentlemen, is my least favorite part of the game. Stop where you are. Stay on the rocks. Don't step on the sand. It makes the ant lions crazy. Laszlo, don't move. No. Help! Fucking Laszlo. Oh. Fuck you, buddy. I shot you twice. <laughs> Sound like a kid playing games. Anyway, um, so yeah, he made this part harder too, as I can see. Um, because he made it so that you're not so easily be able to distinguish. You're not going to be able to easily distinguish between what is rock and what is sand. Like, there's barely any indication there. But basically, don't, uh, does my frame rate drop when I have the gravity gun out? Kinda. What the hell? Yeah, it's like when I have the gravity gun out or something, it's just the frame rate drops. It's weird. Oh! Fuck! Good lord. I hate this chapter so much. That's just because I hate ant lines. So can I use like these cliff paths and stuff to get around? That's pretty cool. Okay, so maybe he made this part a little bit easier by giving you all these alternate ways to go. Well yeah, holy shit, he did make this part a lot easier. Never mind. Here I was going like, oh, he made it harder because you can't distinguish the sand from the rocks. But he gave you all these alternate paths to go. All these dead people. And then there's this. 
Well, ain't that a shit sucker? Just crawl along the mountainside. You jumped way too high, boy. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Shit. Don't fall through the holes. Lesson number one. Gravity gun can be your friend against ant lines. Knock them on their hind and then shoot them. So it's, it's their weak point. Sorry, I keep getting. I don't know. When I record, I naturally just get closer to the mic, and I shouldn't be doing that. I need to stay far away so you guys don't hear my stupid ass breathing all over the place. It gets all obnoxious, and everyone has a problem with it except me. No. It's nice that they added this little house here. Some supplies in it. You expect me to like jump to there or something? I guess so. I can jump down to the door. Yep. Ow. Door is actually pretty handy. Is this sand? No. This is rock. Okay. Man, this part is ten times easier. All of this is sand. First time around. Or pfft, in the non-modded version. He should have done something to make it harder. He should have kept it the same, but, you know, did what I said. Made it harder to distinguish um, fake rock and or to distinguish the rock in the uh, safe path. Got some uh, bullets for the good rifle. Get out of your boat. Why is that connected to that? I don't remember that at all. That's gotta be different too. What does this connect to? If I could jump up here. Yeah. can find out. I know there's a generator over here somewhere. Well, this is all sand. God. Take a baby! Yeah, go inside. Oh, they can't get me in here. Cool. Whoever this was, they sure did like Chinese food. Um, okay. Nothing. No secrets. So all of these windmills are like connected to something. Use these picnic benches to get back here. What is this? Stop it! I guess that's how I should have been dealing with those ant lines earlier. I just completely forgot. That's what I thought. These generators normally turn on and do something. Oh, <sighs> sorry. I got chills for for a second. I don't know why. That was a failure. So I turned on that generator, but what did it do? These don't have switches. He changed this part, and I don't know what the heck he was thinking when he did. Because the part that normally is supposed to turn on... ...is the stomper thing right there. But it's like connected to all these windmills. So, like, what the fuck? 
I don't know what he was thinking or how you're actually supposed to go about doing this. You're supposed to somehow naturally like spin them by like shooting or throwing something at them? I don't know, it's confusing, man. So I ain't gonna I ain't gonna fuck with it. Well, that's certainly harder. I just realized this thing is new. Oh, maybe I have to turn this on. Is that what I'm missing? Am I that big of an idiot? No! Yup. Okay, we're on the rocks now. We're good. We're fine. I had quicker access to my gravity gun, which I do, by the way, with G. So this is new. Normally you didn't have to do this balancing thing. But I guess... Oh no, he just moved it! You did have to do this originally. It's just you had to do it way earlier in the chapter than right now. That's cool. Alright, I appreciate that change. Kind of a uh, trying to stress you out in a high tense situation because at the end of it you're probably surrounded by ant lines, but towards the beginning of it you don't have to worry about it so much. It's just a balancing puzzle or a uh, weight puzzle, and more of those stupid red cords. I don't know what those do or if they're just for show. This part is like a majority sand, isn't it? Ladies and gentlemen, we have a boss, kinda. Why didn't that explode? I'm gonna laugh if that's not an explosive barrel. Nope, I'm an idiot. Anyways, just try to get to the edge of this place. So you'll find that you get help from this turret up here. And helping you kill this boss. Which is the antline queen. Ugh, almost as annoying as an antline, but not quite. Not too difficult, just kind of stay away from it. Kite it around if you really don't want to waste or use the ammo. And the turret will take care of most of its life. Um, if you really want to help out the turret, you can knock over those uh, ant lines. But yeah, not too difficult. Come on. I don't know how he just got me there. It's intense. Oh, shit. Uh, did you increase the life on this thing? Because if so, I don't appreciate it. thing's no joke now. Oh, now the ant lines are going for him. <laughs> That's funny. Never seen that before. Oh shit, I wonder if they can actually kill him. I hope not. I'm losing more health than I'm gaining. Come on, you son of a bitch. There we go. Holy cow. The free man must follow. Wow. 
man, oh man. That is uh, some shit. Is not entirely hygienic, therefore stand aside. Ugh. The free man will have need of these veropods on the paths ahead. Gather them now. So we get the f antline ferropod. <laughs> This is an interesting weapon. Hey, thanks for your help, buddy. Whoever you are. I can't even climb that ladder. What a joke. I think we have a loading screen coming up. Good lord, you gotta shine that light right in my face. The ant lines won't bother you now, Doc. But we kind of have a safe haven here. A base, kinda. Some supplies. Ammo if we need it. Um, some Jack Dagnalls if we need it. <laughs> um, and we will, uh, and eventually we will get back to following our guy. But uh, yeah, pretty cool place. Pretty cool, like, safe haven that they have built here. Um, but yeah, that'll be it for today's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Half Life 2. Um, next time. We'll get a little uh, tutorial on what these antline pharopods do. So, see you then. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.